Overrated to some, but simply amazing to others. The story behind Ed Sheeran's success is truly a modern day fairy tale. While the story of a kid who was bullied at school, then struggled on the streets and finally turned into a superstar might sound cliche, but Ed Sheeran's story nevertheless highlights some of the most fundamental principles of success, those being passion, skill and persistence. Edward Christopher Sheeran was born on the 17th of February 1991 in Halifax but grew up in Framlingham, a town with a castle on a hill. Growing up as a ginger kid who had fat glasses wasn't the best combination and Ed was bullied at school. I, I was a very, very, very weird child. Very weird child. Um, and I had... Uh... It got worse when a surgery left him with a lazy eye and speech impairments. Luckily for him, he found his passion early and that passion was music. Despite his speech issues, he started singing for his church choir by the time he was four and soon to follow was learning the guitar. While medicine and speech therapy didn't help him much and it seemed as though he would suffer for the rest of his life, there came a miracle. This miracle was in the form of Eminem's hit album Marshall Mathers LP. Ten-year-old Ed loved the album and was amazed at the pace at which Eminem rapped. He memorized the lyrics and began rapping and miraculously his speech issues disappeared. From here on, he began writing, composing and singing his own songs and kept refining his skill. The kid had decided music was going to be his career and started performing for live audiences by the time he was 11. He also went on to record and sell CDs and in 2005, while aged 14, came out with the Orange Room EP that featured five songs. He went on to release EPs Ed Sheeran and Want Some before heading to London in 2008 to achieve more. While in London, it was back to life performances and he often experienced the typical struggling artist's life having to sleep in subways and at parks. On many occasions, he felt the need to quit, but was persistent. In the next two years, he released two more EPs, You Need Me in 2009 and Loose Change in 2010, which featured his future debut, The A-Team. From here on, he did quite a bit of music tours, most notably with rapper Example. Ed Sheeran was also one of those artists that made good use of social media and YouTube. Through his YouTube channel, he got quite a bit of attention, especially from the likes of Elton John, footballer Rio Ferdinand and the Independent newspaper. By 2010, he was well noticed and actor Jamie Foxx invited him to LA to perform at his radio show The Foxhole. Ed Sheeran received mainstream attention after the release of his 2011 EP, Number 5 Collaborations Project, which featured at number 2 in the iTunes chart. In the April of 2011, he appeared on the TV music show Later with Jules Holland and performed the A-Team, which was the lead single from his album Plus. The album went on to release in the September of 2011 and the A-Team, needless to say, became a huge hit around the world. The rest, as they say, is history.